A fight between the African bush elephant and the white rhinoceros won't be an easy one. These two amazing creatures are famous for being the largest and second largest land mammals currently in existence. Their enormous size is a clear indicator that a fight will result in extreme injuries or even death for the loser. There is no record of the two ever being in a fight. When experiencing must, bush elephants are known to attack even when unprovoked. The white rhinoceros, on the other hand, are docile animals that rarely fight except when provoked or when fighting to defend their territories. Before we talk about the outcome of this fight, we will start with a comparison of the two rivals. Elephants resemble no other animal on the planet. They are distinguished by their huge bodies, stout legs, thin tails, rounded ears, strong trunks, and in some elephants, the ivory tusks. These long tusks, which grow throughout the elephant's life, are really just incisor teeth. They allow the elephant to dig for food and water, defend itself, and lift heavy objects with ease. Four molars, each one about the size of a brick, also line the mouth. Another important aspect of the elephant's anatomy is the thick, wrinkled skin, which can retain about 10 times the amount of water as smooth skin. African elephants are the largest land animals in the world today. The largest elephant ever recorded was found in Angola, rocking in at a massive 24,000 pounds, or 11,000 kilograms, with a shoulder height of 3.96 meters, or 13 feet, and being at least a meter taller than the average male African elephant. The average African elephant will grow between 8.2 and 13 feet, or 2.5 to 4 meters from shoulder to toe and weigh between 5,000 and 14,000 pounds, or 2,268 to 6,350 kilograms. White rhinoceros are the largest rhinos and are the second largest animals on Earth after the elephant. They may measure between 3.7 and 4 meters, or 12 to 13 feet long, with a tail that is 70 centimeters, or 28 inches long. They stand between 1.5 and 1.8 meters, or 5 to 6 feet tall. Their weight may be up to 2.3 tons, or 4,600 pounds. The white rhino is not colored white, instead of being a slate gray or yellowish brown. Their stocky body features some small skin folds on the flanks and elbows, with the rest being mostly smooth. A large nuchal crest sits behind the head, which contains bones, muscles, and ligaments to support their large head. On top of this large head stick up two ears. Their lip is square-shaped, which helps with grazing. On its snout, it has two horns. The front horn is larger than the back horn and averages 90 centimeters in length and can reach 150 centimeters. The back horn is much shorter and more triangular. They are located above thick, rough areas of fused nasal bones and grow throughout the life of the rhino. They are usually prevented from growing too long by wear. If broken off, regrowth begins immediately. Horns are not attached to the skull and are made of keratin, the same material as human hair and nails. African elephants range throughout the savannas of sub-Saharan Africa and the rainforests of Central and West Africa. The continent's northernmost elephants are found in Mali's Sahel Desert. The small, nomadic herd of Mali elephants migrates in a circular route through the desert in search of water. Elephants stamp and dig into dry steam beds or other spots to uncover water that is lurking below the surface. They often create very large holes by digging with their feet, trunks, and tusks, working until they reach an adequate supply of water for them all to share. The majority of the southern white rhinos occur in just four countries, South Africa, Nambia, Zimbabwe, and Kenya. Southern white rhinos were thought to be extinct in the late 19th century, but in 1895, a small population of fewer than 100 individuals was discovered in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. After more than a century of protection and management, they are now classified as near-threatened, and around 18,000 animals exist in protected areas in private game reserves. They are the only of the five rhino species that are not endangered. This species of rhinoceros lives primarily in savannas and grasslands. 
They prefer this habitat to more heavily forested areas because grass grows more densely. Grasses are the white rhino's favorite food, and they cannot live in habitats without them. Regardless of habitat preference, white rhinos seek out areas with mud holes. These mud holes help the rhinos cool down and protect their skin from sunburn and insect bites. Elephants will eat almost any type of vegetation, including grasses, leaves, fruits, twigs, roots, and bark. The exact composition of its diet tends to vary based on location and season. Herbivores generally have two different strategies for obtaining food. Browsing, in which they selectively feed on shrubs and trees above the ground, and grazing, in which they lightly feed upon vegetation along the ground. Many elephants are both browsers in the dry season and grazers in the wet season. The social life of many elephants revolves around the herds in small groups. An elephant herd consists mostly of closely related female cows and their calves, which are led by a single matriarch who helps the entire group find food and water, avoid predators, and locate a shelter. The oldest daughter is almost always poised to inherit the matriarchal position upon the mother's death. A typical herd consists of around 10 individuals. If the herd grows too large, then some elephants may split off and form a new semi-independent group. The male bulls, on the other hand, either wander alone or form bachelor groups with specific dominance hierarchies. The males are much more likely to gather during times of scarcity or in the presence of threats. They only come into contact with females when they want to mate. Depending on the availability of food, the elephant may spend up to 18 hours a day feeding. The rest of the time is occupied by sleeping, bathing, cleaning itself, and bonding with the rest of the group. Playing and fighting are integral parts of their behavior. They tend to spar playfully with other elephants close to their own age. White rhinos are grazers, feeding entirely on grasses that they crop with their wide front lip. Their short legs, long heads reaching almost to the ground, and wide mouths are used in combination with the side-to-side -side head movement to eat massive quantities of grass. It drinks twice a day if water is available, but if conditions are dry, it can live four to five days without water. Rhinos are generally active in the early morning, late afternoon, and evening. During the middle of the day, they will wallow or rest in the shade. Like all species of rhinoceros, they love wallowing in mud holes to cool down. This is especially important during hot weather for purposes of thermoregulation and for ridding the body of ectoparasites. Rhinos have developed a special relationship with birds, such as the oxpecker, egret, and bee-eater, which is referred to as common salism. These birds act as sentinels and feed on a wide variety of parasites on the backs of the rhinos. The white rhino has a complex social structure. Females and young associate in groups, while adult males are territorial and essentially solitary. Territorial bulls mark and patrol the boundaries of their areas and challenge any intruding adult males. Boundaries of individual territories often overlap. A dominant male usually tolerates the presence of several subordinate males within its territory and also allows females to wander freely through the area. That being said, who would win if the African elephant and the white rhinoceros would fight? The African bush elephant is likely to win a fight between the two. Savannah elephants are almost three times bigger than white rhinos and have bigger and stronger tusks. Their massive size will definitely work to their advantage. When foraging, African elephants occasionally knock down big trees and easily uproot giant trees. A battle between the elephant and rhino will not only be influenced by their size, but also stamina, intelligence, and ability to dodge the attacker. The African elephant has a competitive advantage when all of these factors are considered. It is more intelligent, stronger, and can easily crash the rhino. One advantage that the rhino has is its ability to maneuver and dodge attackers. The white rhino may also use its high speeds to try to knock down the African bush elephant. All in all, a battle between these two African mammals won't be an easy one. Even the winner will most likely sustain life-threatening injuries.
That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you'd like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.